this is Fred with Key Specialty Store. Uh, this is uh, part three of heating a garage with radiant floor heat. In this section, we're going to talk about uh, insulation and other so considerations. Then run a slightly longer loop. Now, uh, underneath this, there's some foil stuff and some uh, looks like bubble wrap. Yes, uh, it's a similar it's a similar uh, material to bubble wrap, but they do produce this just for in floor tubing. Okay, so it basically protects. The, uh, keeps the heat from going uh, into the ground instead of uh, up into the cement. So eventually what will happen is they'll pour five inches of cement or five on this. To six inches in this building. And this whole slab will be one big heat sink then. Yes, it will. And then uh, that I've heard is one of the most comfortable heating systems uh, uh, versus hot air. Whenever, uh, whenever the customer has in-floor heating, if he does work on his vehicles, uh, typically you're down on the floor taking off a tire, uh, rolling around under your vehicle, uh, the floor is nice and a nice temperature. You never be, you're never cold when you're on the floor. A great solution for a garage, then, huh? Mm -hmm. Or a house. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, the insulation, Fred, is just uh, something. There are applications where people will will not use an insulation, uh, but we consider it a a plus. Uh, there's no reason to heat the ground underneath the pad. Yeah, because there'd be a fair amount of heat loss because the ground's, what, 55, 60 degrees? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and you would be heating a lot. The other thing you have to watch also is if you have an application that you have moist soil underneath, you want to make sure there is no spring underneath the, uh, underneath, uh, the garage or the house, the basement floor. Uh, moving water underneath the pad will take your heat away. Ah, good point, good point. I see uh, he has... Uh, in his garage, uh, looks like what I think is Solar Guard. Uh, yes, this will be. He's got an R7 value, I think. Yes, this will be also. He will have a steel ceiling in here. Okay. And he'll have R38 above the steel. So he's going to insulate up there. That's what your heat loss calculations yes. assumed. Okay, good. And is he going to have anything in the walls? You think? Uh, definitely another six inches of insulation in the walls. So this will be relatively uh, uh, efficient. Good, good tight building. Yep. Good. Thank you.